But I think uh, it is important to note that we have presented artists in different parts of the world, and, and, and most specifically in different parts of Europe. Um, um, sometime in March, uh, we took a group of artists to Serbia, uh, uh, Belgrade. And, and this involved not only visual artists, but even performing artists. Uh, so the Kenyan government are uh, deliberate uh, in, in terms of sending art artists outside Kenya because part of it is in, uh, uh, to improve uh, on, on, on the Kenyan brand, uh, selling out the Kenyan brand to the world. And, and so we felt that uh, one way of doing that is through um, exposing the world to our different uh, cultures and, and art. So, so after Serbia, I also uh, took a group of performing artists now, without visual artists, to Korea. Um, um, and so, um, just before here, um, a group of dancers, again, uh, under, the, under, under the Kenya Cultural Center, just left India. So, so it is an initiative of the government, and, 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 and very deliberately so. Uh, because we feel, uh, unless you travel, you will not make progress. The argument is, look at all people around the world, all philosophers, they must have traveled. So unless you travel, you don't make progress. Even those who discovered my lake, uh, the lake I, I stay next to, uh, I don't know, we, we were staying there before, you know but it was discovered on the same. <laughs> <laughs> but they traveled. Yeah, they traveled. Mm -hmm. and, and, so, and so there's something in traveling that opens the mind. And, and when these young people then leave their points of abode and, and, and make uh, journeys, then their minds open and, and, and they start thinking uh, more like global citizens. It's very difficult to tell a Kenyan young man who has never traveled to think globally because then they'll be having imaginations. But it's better to experience uh, uh, these different cultures firsthand. So I, I would say that um, it, is, it is deliberate, as we say in Kenya, and, and, and in a structured way because we need guys to open their minds. And it is also a way of ensuring that these young people then become competitive. Uh, because I'm sure uh, after Sharon shall have visited a few uh, galleries here and she goes back home, she, her thing will change. And, and then her artwork will start being competitive because she has seen what other galleries in a serious city like London offers. Um, but, but it's, it's, it all boils down to, are they able to, after all this exposure, are they able to be uh, self-sustaining? Um, jobs are a problem. Uh, and so are they able to find reason for doing what they're doing? Um, are, are they able to convince the naysayers that actually art pays? Um, uh, so, so yes, uh, I would say that uh, government in its wisdom uh, uh, felt that it is time for our artists to be exposed and that exposure opens up their mind. In fact, we, we know they say um, we are throwing away the box and we just want the artists to think. Not thinking outside the box. There is no box, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.